Good morning, this is Mr. Centivani. Um, there is nothing that I'd rather be doing this morning than to be making a train body with you. Yes. So I'm just going to shrinkify my screen so it's really small, but uh, this video is going to be going over making the train body. And uh, I'm going to start by just making a sketch on the front plane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw this shape, this big L shape, right? So uh, lock in at the bottom corner to, okay, that looks pretty good, to the, um, the origin. And now we're going to start dimensioning. Now, these uh, isometrics are kind of hard to see with the dimensions, but uh, we'll just go through and start with this big one here. The overall uh, width is. 5.5, so we'll type that in, 5.5. Hmm. Something's being weird. 5.5, enter. Oh, there we go. And uh, I learned from Claudia that if you hit uh, the letter, the word front up here, then everything shrinks and uh, makes it easy to see. So the front, if you follow these extension lines down, it's 0.88. Let's go ahead and do the front, 0.88, and what else do we have here? From the front to here is, can't tell, um, oh, hey, from the back to this line, from that line to that line is 1.75, so we can do that, and I think that's about all we're going to get this train so far we're gonna extrude it out and it is two inches wide or deep sorry so two inches deep and if we look at it now you see that it is in fact looking pretty good let's go ahead and we're not going to need any of these planes anymore um, for this instance I'm going to throw the barrel on right now and so the barrel I'm just going to start on this very end here. I'm going to make a circle. Try not to lock it into anything. I'm going to dimension the circle. It is, you can see up there, it is 0.75 radius. So you have to multiply that by 2 to get the diameter. This one's weird. It's uh, the center point is uh, 1.38, and that that dimension is right there and so you follow the extension line from the center point and the bottom and so that locates it and then just to double check you want to make sure that that is exactly one inch right very good we're going to finish that sketch and then a different way to extrude instead of uh, blind you can say up to face and you can click this and then click that and it should extrude up to that face here let's try again blind no up to face and here is our what we want to extrude and our up to face is there yes good and now we have the train body let's go to the front side we're going to throw in two holes so let's put a sketch here and we don't want uh, we want points where's points hmm. let's have to go down even further to points and we're just going to plop two points in there and then dimension and locate them. So from the bottom, these points are uh, half an inch, 0.5. And you can see that dimension right there. So we'll do the same thing here. And then we have to dimension them from the edges. So from the back, that one is one inch. You can find that dimension right here. You see the, they have the, uh, uh, dimension lines on the outside and the extension line so and then this one is 4.5 from that same edge so make sure dimension is activated come back here and we got 4.5 bam all right so uh, now that those are located we can finish that we're going to drill two holes where are holes they're down here and if you look at the hole notes here they're quarter one quarter 20 unc and what that means is that they're threaded so we're going to click both of these and under standard we're going to say ANSI and so now we have quarter 
and we don't want blind we want through fit free close normal how about normal right um, the idea is to make you aware that um, this this note here one quarter hyphen 20 UNC means it's a, like basically a quarter of an inch in diameter for all intents and purposes and it is 20 threads per inch so now we got those two holes uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a sketch on the front and we'll look right there we're gonna make three more points and those points are like those little triangles uh, just try not to lock them into anything okay just sketch them real quick and then we're gonna locate them so this top one is do 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 point six two five from the bottom and these two are both the same and they are point one two five from the bottom so they're pretty far down great and now we have to locate them from the side I believe this middle one is right in the middle so that's one inch and then these guys that's not <coughs> let's see looks like it's 0.375 which is also known as three-eighths of an inch and this one here what is this one it looks like it's 1.625 from that same edge so we can come over here and go 1.625 enter and now we've got those all laid out I'm gonna go ahead and make those holes and if you look at the whole note it's a eighth of an inch in diameter and an eighth of an inch deep so that's pretty simple click all these and we want simple that's right and not through we want blind and not ANSI we want custom so the width is 0.125 and the depth is 0.125 all right <clears throat> now we're gonna put a sketch on one of the sides here we're gonna make this cut out for where the engineer sits and drives that train um, and if you recall from class in order to do that we're gonna need a circle <coughs> and then eventually a square so we're gonna dimension that circle uh, one inch and then locate the circle from the back we can see that it is 0.25 and from the bottom it is 1.75 is that right that looks like what it's telling me here gonna move it way down that's fine and now we're gonna activate a rectangle and very carefully just go from 12 to 6 oh man what happened there escape let's undo one time um, is there a three-point rectangle nope there's a center point rectangle hmm well, let's try this again. Let's start at the bottom this time. We'll go right up to the top. And you just have to make sure that um, <coughs> you hit the top and clear everything else. Because we're going to cut both of these shapes all the way through right now. Here we go. Extrude. Remove. This, 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 this zoom way in because we don't want to forget that and that and let's go through all bam game over on that uh put a sketch on the way back and maybe we'll do a two for one special with this now let's just do it one at a time first thing we do is throw a point in there um and the point's going to be used to drill a hole and we're going to dimension the point from the bottom it's three-eighths of an inch and you could always type in three divided by eight that gives you the same thing and it's centered so we know that that is one finish the sketch drill the hole what's this hole looking like it is a half an inch deep and a quarter inch in diameter so 0.25 
and 0.5. Now we got the hole. We're going to put another sketch right on this face. <coughs> and this is where we make that funky arc to cut the top. So um, we want to choose center point arc and lock into the center. Come over here and just click and draw a big arc. And then we're going to dimension this arc. If we look at the drawing, it says that the radius of that arc is 2.35. And that should bring us down. Now we're going to go back to the arc again and make a three-point arc. And you click this end point, that end point, and then cover everything else back up. Once you do that, you can extrude, remove this whole thing through all. Bam. So now we're looking pretty good. We've got all the little holes, da 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 da. We've got the top, we've got the thing, we've got the other thing. We need to make that hole on the very top of the barrel. And this is a tricky one. And one of the students that I was working with on my office hours um, didn't um, use the origin in the same way. She put like the origin up here somewhere. And so we kind of had to use the bottom of the train as a plane to offset. So that's what I kind of want to do with you because that's bulletproof, right? So you turn on plane, you select this, and then we have to put in an offset distance and a direction. So the direction we want is going up towards the top of the barrel, and then we're gonna use some maths, right? We're gonna use this 1.38 right here, and this 0.75 right here. We're gonna add those two things together. So 1.38 plus 0.75, and that puts our plane right on top of the barrel. Once we got that plane there, we can hit sketch. We can throw a point down to drill that hole. And we'll just kind of, I like looking at it straight from the top, put a point in there and locate the point. So from the edge, it is one inch. And from the front, it is 0.88 inches. So that puts our point in the right spot. We're going to finish that. We're going to drill the hole. And you probably like already know what size the hole is. It's a half inch in diameter because you're looking way over here at this hole note and 0.25 deep. And then we'll make this plane disappear and it's game over on the train body. Only took me 12 minutes and 47 seconds with explaining everything so that's not bad um, so feel free to use this video start stop and does that look right I don't know I don't know if that looks right to me but maybe it needs a oh oh you're not done mr. Centivani. Uh you need to round all edges 0.1 and so you're gonna add fillets to all the edges except for the holes um, you might need to go do this a few times because I believe the order in which you select them makes a difference. So um, you definitely want the nice look where you go around and get those ones. So maybe do those ones first and then work your way around and do all the other edges. Okay. Um, good luck to you. I'm going to put this in both our class and on YouTube and like I said in class if I get a hundred followers I will dye my hair or whatever so get all your friends to join and follow me because I am a old man and I need to like get on the YouTube right okay so um, get as many as you can and then go back and get some more make sure all these edges are round have a great day.